Tension myositis syndrome is almost always expressed by way of the symptom imperative. A person suffering from TMS almost always has multiple symptoms, and that makes the process of healing more complicated, or at least it seems that way. But today, I'm going to show you three steps that I take anytime I have a new pain. And listen up, because these steps will shut down the symptom imperative pretty much every time. So let's dive right in. Hi folks, I'm John Thornton, and I suffered from the symptom imperative for many years. However, I finally figured out how to stop it. The formula is simple. Recognition, rejection, and repetition, the three R's. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. But first, I'm going to give you a gift. It's our free workshop for curing TMS. The workshop will give you the systematic approach to curing TMS that was skipped in the Sarno books. And if you follow the instructions, you could see a noticeable improvement in just 30 days. So click on the link below to start watching the free workshop. Okay, so what exactly is the symptom imperative? Well, here's how Dr. Sarno defined it in his New York Times bestseller, Healing Back Pain. TMS can manifest itself in a variety of locations and it tends to move around, particularly if something is being done to combat the disorder. Patients often report pain in a new location as the old one gets better. It is as though the brain is unwilling to give up this strategy for diverting attention away from negative emotions. And so keeping up with new symptoms can be really challenging. And if you don't have a good plan in place, it can seem like new symptoms are coming at you on a conveyor belt faster and faster one after the other. And it doesn't take long for symptoms to start spiraling out of control. And sometimes it can get to the point where you can no longer keep up. But you know, it doesn't have to be that way. Stopping new symptoms is not that hard. It really isn't. Let me show you how to turn off the symptom imperative right now. Most people, even those who understand TMS, don't recognize how prevalent the symptom imperative is. It's very common for someone to read healing back pain and start working on back pain without recognizing that they have three other TMS symptoms that they're calling medical conditions. And that can derail the whole process. So let's take a look at a list of TMS symptoms that we've compiled over the last five years and see if any of these apply to you now or in the past. And as you can see, it's not just back pain and it's not just pain. There's tinnitus, there's neuropathy, and there's digestive disorders. So review this list, and if you have any of these, quote, medical conditions, remember that they're not medical at all. They're probably TMS. And don't be surprised if every chronic thing that you have is the symptom imperative. The symptom imperative always wants you to believe it's a real medical condition, but it's not. It's just stress tightening up your body. You must reject the pain and make sure that it does not get comfortable because it's not staying long. Here's three things that I don't do in order to shut down the symptom imperative. First, I don't automatically go to the doctor looking for a diagnosis. That won't help. Yes, I do have a problem. But no, it's not a medical problem, hence I don't need a doctor. I can handle it myself. And next, and this is very important, don't retreat from the pain. If I wake up with new shoulder pain, I don't skip my workout and I don't rest the shoulder. Instead, I do the exact opposite. I'll go to the gym and who knows, maybe I'll even double up on my shoulder reps. So instead of taking a defensive position, I go on the offensive and I challenge the pain. It might hurt a little bit more up front, but in the long run, it's a better way to go and Dr. Sarno knew it as well. A patient once complained to Dr. Sarno that he couldn't snow ski anymore because of the back pain was so intense. 
Dr. Sarno told him that he should go snow skiing the next weekend. Well, the patient went and guess what? By the end of the weekend, the pain was gone. We see stuff like this happening all the time. And then lastly, instead of obsessing about the pain, I try to ignore it as best I possibly can. And believe it or not, that lack of attention works very well and the symptom will usually resolve in just a couple days. And the quicker you can shut down the symptoms, the easier the process becomes. And also, the more often you repeat this process, the easier it gets. And after a while, dispatching new symptoms becomes second nature, no big deal. I've gotten pretty good at it, and I think because of that, I rarely have to do it anymore. So remember, recognize all TMS symptoms as TMS, challenge each new symptom until it goes away, and repeat the process until it becomes second nature. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to pick up that free TMS workshop. There's a link below, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.